Five Most Famous Swords in History, Part 2 5. Curved Saber of San Martin José de San Martín was the South American heroic figure who battled for independence from Spain. He was the general of Argentine that lived from 1778 to 1850. He was also the minder of Peru. The most valuable ownership of José de San Martín was a curled sword that he acquired from London. He admired the weapon dearly, always said that the sword was made for battle. The sword was delivered to General de la República Argentina after the demise of San Martín. 4. Wallace Sword William Wallace was a Scottish knight who lived from 1272 to 1305. Wallace is known for leading a resistance against England during the Wars of Scottish Independence, which were waged during the late 13th century and early 14th century. During his lifetime, William Wallace was appointed the Guardian of Scotland. He led an infantry of soldiers who engaged the enemy in hand-to-hand -hand combat. In 1305, William Wallace was captured by King Edward I of England and was executed for treason. His sword is one of the most famous in the world. Legend has it that William Wallace, the character of Mel Gibson's in Braveheart, used human skin for his sword's scabbard, hilt, and belt. The flesh's donor was said to have been Hugh de Cressingham, treasurer of Scotland, whom Wallace had flayed after defeating him in the Battle of Stirling Bridge. 3. Napoleon's Sword in 1799, Napoleon Bonaparte became the military and political leader of France after staging a coup d'etat. Five years later, the French Senate proclaimed him emperor. Napoleon's sword, as the name suggests, was once Napoleon's. The sword was gifted to his brother as a wedding present in the 1800s, and it has been passed on from generations to generations in the Bonaparte family. Napoleon has quality-wise material of armor, and the best was the Napoleon sword. In the year 2007, the gold-decorated sword was auctioned off in France for $6.4 million, but the winner of the auction was not known. 2. Zulfikar Scimitar Zulfikar is the ancient sword of the Islamic leader Ali. Ali was the cousin and son-in-law of the Prophet Muhammad. He ruled over the Islamic Caliphate from 656 to 661. By some historical accounts, Muhammad gave Zulfikar to Ali at the Battle of Uhud. Muhammad admired Ali's power and strength on the battlefield and wanted to present him with a cherished weapon. The sword is a symbol of the Islamic faith and is admired by millions of people. The sword is a part of popular huddle called Al-Jafar. Al-Jafar is not available for public exhibition. 1. Joyous Charlemagne is a man that was born circa 742. He is one of the greatest rulers in world history and became King of the Franks in 768. In 800, he was named Emperor of the Romans, a position that he held for the remainder of his life. Charlemagne's has a sword named Joyeuse. There are two swords allotted to Joyeuse. First is Saber kept in Weltleach Schatzkammer in Vienna, while the other is situated at the Louvre in France. The sword is constituted by many parts from different century, therefore it's difficult to identify it as Joyeuse, but at the hilt of the sword there is a marked creation date from Charlemagne. The blade of the Joyeuse in Louvre is made up of original Charlemagne sword. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed. Check out one of these videos and don't forget to subscribe to support more videos.